Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm in Islington today at the Islington Boxing Gym and with me, go on at Islington Zone, Mr Rob Warren, how are you? Hey Vince, Sonny, yeah good. Hey, good thanks, yeah good. Yeah, I'm all right. Thanks for looking after my camera over the, over the weekend. Yeah, I'm your bag, man. <laughs> um, yeah, how have you been? I've been good, yeah. Good shows, you know, you was there Saturday. It was, good show. Another good show, it's been well, you know, British boxing. Pretty good in it last few weeks. That's been good. Um, Francis and Frank didn't look too happy at ringside when Zelfa uh, didn't get the nod against Ron oh, Clark. Yeah, I mean, that was, I, I think it was just the shot he got caught with reminded me of Tessé when he caught Butler. Oh. oh. But I mean, it was a great fight. Great well, fight. But I mean, did you ever see him getting the decision at the end of that fight? Could you see, I mean, a few people online had it a draw and stuff. Put it this way, it wouldn't surprise me, but I, you, I think they're not down. And he did struggle that round. I mean, he done well to survive the round, didn't he? You know? yeah. That don't make him a bad fight. I think it was absolutely, you know, that made the night that fight. I mean, Cougar spoke to Zelfie yesterday, and he, and he said fair play to Ronnie. He's going to come back bigger and stronger, like, like any good boxer does after a loss. Well, he was, as long as they learned by it, you know what I mean? But I mean, any other boxer, I, I was, you know, to get up from that shot was incredible. And the way he got quite quick as well and, and, and yeah. steadied himself and uh, cracked on with the fight. It was. Um, elsewhere on the card, Anthony Yard. Um, the Mr. Yard your diamond, usual, your diamond yeah. in the rough. Oh, I love, oh, well, you know what I think of Anthony. <laughs> I mean, he's one of you, you. Very, very tough opponent, but I mean, I think that fellow's only ever been stopped three times in 11 years or whatever, but he was very tough. But I remember. And he done a job again, he wears them down and he's just so strong, that's the thing about him. I remember before his debut, you went, uh, watch him. I that's the one. That's yeah. the, uh, <laughs> and uh, you called it pretty well, so far so good. So far so good, yeah. Um, there's a lot of call outs for the fights he should have, or but I mean, Frank has said that he's not interested in the Bullioni fight. I mean, why is that, do you think? Well, well you know, if it comes, if it comes, it comes. But I mean, what, it all started with the eliminators and all that. What's he need to fight someone with eliminator for when he's way, way above him? Sure. That's, a, that's a natural fight, isn't it, for the British style? But if they don't want it, they don't want it. Fair so you move on. See what you mean. Um, a massive, massive card in April at the O2 uh, with Billy Joe, obviously O'Hara making his, his, yeah. his debut, I mean, and a, a few other big fighters. I mean, Frank putting on these cards now, he's got BT Sports behind him. I mean, he really is rivaling uh, Matchroom and Sky Sports. I mean, how big is British boxing at the moment? Well, it's, it's just in a good place. I think at the moment Frank is making sure that the fights are proper fights now. I mean, you're not getting cards on any of our shows anymore when you've got 100 to 1 or so, or, you know. His fights, you know, they are proper fights. As you see, with Alpha Barrett, you can, uh, you know. It's uh, what the public want. You've got to put it on there. You can't fool the public anymore. They want to see fights. You come and see fights. They've got to be good ones. So that's why, you know, we got Selby Warren. I mean, what We're at that fight in Frampton. I mean, it's just. At the moment, it's great. I love it. You're gonna be out in Belfast. For, for I'll definitely time? be out in Belfast. I bet you will on the Guinness. <laughs> I don't drink Guinness. Oh, do you not? Like oh, fair enough. I'll it off. Um, yeah, I mean that fight, O'Hara Davis. What a fighter he is. Um, yeah. Obviously, people have his have their quarries about him. They either love him or hate him. He's a little bit like Marmite. What do you think of him personally? Well, he's a good fighter. I mean, he says he was told to say something stupid. He said something stupid and paid the price for it. You know, but. Um, as, I, as everyone says, loads of people say stupid things. Yeah, You've true. got to think before you say anything. I can say that now. I mean, I probably, I was probably worse than <laughs> anyone years ago. Yeah, but you know, that don't, that don't take away. The, you know, he's not a bad fight. It's a good fighter. But he ain't a bad person because he says one thing. You know. So um, let's just hope he gets off from that and wins the people over again. Obviously, Billy Joe's got Martin Murray. Martin Murray's a, a, a big puncher. I mean, he's yeah. a strong, determined, and he's a tough, tough man. He's been in there with pretty much everyone there is to go in with. Well, yeah. Obviously, Billy Joe's got his eyes on Canelo or Golovkin. Murray's been in there with Golovkin. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, Billy, Billy Joe is, you know, Billy is Bill. I mean, he, he ain't going to underestimate no one. And he is so... I still think Bill's underestimated because he is a very... One of the best, one of the best fighters we've got. One of the best fighters we've had. Uh, Mike Murray, no pushover. I know Mike. He's a very nice fellow and he is tough. Very, very tough. I mean, like, he's not going to give an inch. But that's what people want to see, isn't they? I mean, after we see that new Billy Joe out in Canada against Lemire, I mean. Absolutely brilliant. What do you think has happened with Ingle to change Billy into this new man? Well, I just, it's just a different environment. He's around everyone in boxing. He's living with people in boxing. And it, it just, you know, it, it shows such a marked improvement, unbelievable. But you know, that's Bill. 
Shows you, how, shows you how good he really was. Yeah, right? true that. I mean, like I said, he wants the winner of Canelo Golovkin. Firstly, your prediction on Canelo Golovkin, and secondly, oh, does Billy beat the winner? Oh yeah, I hope so. But I fancy Golovkin. I think Golovkin won the last fight. I don't. I think he win this one. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Elsewhere, what's happening in the world of Warren that I don't know about? Give Not a lot. No. No info tips. The, the world of Warren, no, no, just in the box and that, looking forward to that. I think uh, Groves are three best you bang up with Karen, the one with Karen Smith. But I'll, as I said, we'll start with Karen Smith will win now. I think Karen Smith. Think Smith be Groves? I think Karen Smith is very, very underestimated. I, I said from day one he'd win it and I'm still, I don't see anything. No disrespect to George Groves, it's going to make me change my mind. Fair enough. I mean, uh, quick question what are you doing on the May Bank holiday? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. By the way, for people, we're going on holiday together just in case you're wondering. <laughs> not just me and him, the whole, the whole, uh, yeah. whole, the whole, the whole family. Yeah, they're all white, right. you know that, don't you? Why do you keep calling me dad, by the way? <laughs> don't keep calling you dad. <laughs> you can, yeah. so, did someone get me and Fred mixed up the other day? Right. No. <laughs> yes, they did, but that was Frankie Hopkins, and Frankie Hopkins is about 100. <laughs> <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Right, listen, Rob, thanks for the time. I'll catch up with you soon. Stop.